So hello, hello everyone to the beginning of the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater playthrough. No, I... <laughs> hello YouTube. Um, we are going to be starting a new game. Hey Rue, what's up my guy? Literally right on time, dude. I, uh, I don't even know if I have the save still from when I had tried the game before. So regardless, we're definitely starting a new save. It's going to take me a moment to get used to the X is back, circle is accept again. <laughs> I wish, I wish that in America we had just kept the Japanese layout of, of X is back, circle is, is except, because, like, that's how it is on the Nintendo, there are some games on the PS2 that decided to keep it that way instead of following the American norm, etc., and it's just like, dude, why not just have it be the same everywhere and <laughs> make it so much easier? You've been waiting for the maintenance guy out Oh, to look at the, the door for the thing? Yeah. Um, actually, that looks pretty well centered up. We're going to leave it there. Brightness adjustment, though. Do we need to? How's it look on the stream? It looks okay. Looks okay on my view. Adjust the monitor brightness so that the grayscale under the orange line is no longer seen to obtain optimal. Okay, I guess technically we could darken it up a little bit. But there's no in-game brightness settings, and I don't feel like messing with it. And it's not that bad, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. Because America Freedom? No! <laughs> it's not an acceptable reason, man. Um, Playing the MGS series for the first time, I like MGS 1, I like MGS 2. Can I not just say I like all of them? I mean, the last one we played was 2, so I guess I'll say 2. Uh, definitely normal difficulty. <laughs> We're not going any harder than that. I'm bad enough at these games as it is. We don't need to go any higher than normal. Fuck no. After the end of World, War II, the the end of World War II, the world was split into two, east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. I didn't know Snake was going to read it for us, so we'll just let, let Snake do it then. Also, god damn it, the voices seem quiet. I turned it up because the voice was quiet, but then that airplane was really loud. I don't know, hopefully this is a nice balance where I have it at. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, guy was supposed to be here in the time frame of 10 to 2. It's almost 4. Holy shit, my guy. 10 to 2 even is like a very wide margin of times to like show up. You know what I mean? So like, damn. Right over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right, you ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cav okay. Good, we've got high visibility. <laughs> Deoku Jima. Tamakazu Fukushima. I didn't see the cigar. other name. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Do you know who you're talking to, my guy? Like... <laughs> I don't think Snake gives a damn Does what you're telling him to do. He's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Called the office and dude isn't in the park either. She said it's probably because they don't have doorknobs with locks on hand, but still, dude, right? Does seem like a hell of a wait, man. Which snake is this? It's the the normal snake. Depressurization complete. Checking as far as I'm aware, at least. What Six I don't know is like where in the timeline it takes place exactly. I think it might be earlier in the timeline. I'm not sure. Though. Wait, did Snake end up losing an eye? <laughs> Did I, did I forget that part? <laughs> I, don't, temperature minus I don't remember that. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. <laughs> There's too many damn snakes. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. 
try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate the alarm bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Hmm. Look at us go, dude. Such badass. You know, I'm kind of surprised they haven't turned the Metal Gear series into a film yet. Just because, like, I mean, they're Sony stuff, but, like, they did The Last of Us, they did Uncharted, and, I mean, it's definitely different in a lot of ways, but Metal Gear, Back Uncharted, you know, they got some similarities. The head of the CIA is Badass dude jumping out of airplanes and shit. That's <laughs> close enough, right? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB-754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story, so why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. He used the mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? What's up, Chocobo? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole Sounds legit enough. Left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the U.N.'s Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete, and we were going to get rid of them anyway. Yeah. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. 
You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital, handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yeah, it might as well be a movie, yes. honestly. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No, missiles. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at semi palatins Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about ah. three miles to the west that's known as... Try not to interrupt too much. The Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. They you should be able to. I was able to see it on my view, at least. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research. It'll be so. uploaded to YouTube eventually. So This is our last chance. <laughs> must have known you can't get it from too. Twitch. You can get it from there. All right, some people did some bad things. We need to go in and do stuff. Got it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, this, <laughs> these are more like, maybe that's why um, the light it burns. Oh, my God. Maybe that's why they uh, never made a movie of the Metal Gear series. Because the games are basically already movies, man. I mean, the messiest fucking hero ever assembled. Nice, nice. Holy shit, it is too bright. I'm turning off the light. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is Fuck. to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the west. Okay, what's the. Oh! We if can look first Sokolov person. Back Very fancy. That weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> okay. So get Sokolov, save the world. Understood. Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Couldn't make Once it any quicker. I feel like that's going to be something we got to deal with, man. We're going to be getting attacked while that balloon's system. filling up. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Sounds like a good time. I was looking up the Metal Gear Solid 3 timeline, by the way. Or, I'm sorry, just the Metal Gear t timeline in general. Um... And Snake Eater, this one, is indeed the first one. I'm sure Chocobo told us that whenever we originally played it, but yeah, this game takes place all the way back in 1964, making it the first in the series. The other ones that we played, which was Metal Gear and Solid Snake, if I remember correctly, those ones take place kind of in the middle of the timeline, from the looks of it. I mean, it's the same snake, right? It's just Snake from before from a while back 
which I guess explains why, like, that dude was ordering us around like we were at nobody, because <laughs> we presumably haven't done that much awesome shit yet. Good enough to get into this elite team here, Foxhound or whatever, but, like, yeah. Different snake? Wait, is it actually a different snake? I don't... <laughs> bro, I don't know. I can hardly keep up with the, the Metal Gear story as it is. Like... <laughs> Remember the game now? We had it for the gauntlet like last year? Yeah, yeah. It's been a little while, but we did try the game out before. We didn't get, like, too, too far, but uh, we played, like, I don't know, two hours of it, give or take. We're starting over fresh, though. He's blonde. It totally is. See? What's his hair brown before <laughs> i don't remember dude my memory is terrible i don't where was it not always white or blonde i can't help but notice too it does say our name up in the top there is jack which isn't that the the code name that they were using for uh ninja bro dude whose name i can't remember oh shit circle for select okay food we have a calorie mate. Taste unknown. Interesting. Options. Uh, okay. Same options as from the main menu. And we got our map, which right now really just shows us topology. And that's basically it, which makes sense enough. Jack is Raiden's real name. That was his name, Raiden. Okay, R2 to grab this stuff. What's this do? Espionage pill developed by the CIA can wake up from fake death. Okay, well, we don't want to mess with that right now. Ooh, first person mode. Very nice. R2 is the other one. We might as well equip our knife, right? Just so we have something. How do we attack? Sir. Square uses weapons. Circle uses punches and kicks. Triangle is nothing. X is down. Hold X to get like down, down. Okay. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake. What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call what? you? <laughs> hmm, let's see. I'll be... <laughs> what do you mean, dude? I'll be Tom. <laughs> call me Major Tom. Do I want to oh, play snake. or cheese it? Yeah. Cheese it how? Who isn't watching anymore? You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. Time for the snake to shed his skin. So wait, were we wearing, like, a wig? Yeah, see? See, it's the same snake. <laughs> Maybe. I don't, I don't really know. I was right, though. Brown hair proud of myself i remembered something <laughs> not sure if it's in the original but there's a pretty useful gun at the beginning of the game i mean i like useful things <laughs> yes so if it is in the original here uh yeah by all means point it out to us i think it's the same snake is there really like more than one snake like there's the his brother and stuff like that but isn't there like you can spoil this. That's fine. You're fine. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. 
I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. Hate to see it. Yeah, I see. Well, but aren't the clones like him, and his brother, and... You know where it is? Like, another brother or something? I can see it from here. They're not all Stuck snake, branch. right? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. You can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. I, I, I hate this series so much. <laughs> I, I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but I hate it at the same time. What, what do you mean? There's six different snakes. <laughs> but, but, like, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the original Metal Gear game, in the Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, we were playing the same snake, right? Outside of when we were raiding? Like... Oh, this is Big Boss. Okay, so... So the future games are clones of this snake? I mean, I guess that kind of explains the whole cigar thing, right? Um... Because, like, that was Big Boss's whole thing, always smoking the cigars. I mean, Snake does smoke, but I don't particularly remember him smoking a bunch of cigars. More like cigarettes and shit. Okay, I'm assuming we can, like... Can we crawl under this? Yes. And then triangle to get up. Nope. X to get up. X to get back up. Okay. X to get down, X to get up, X to dodge roll. We can climb that tree. Is there anything else around here? How do we... Okay, I just automatically answers the call. Snake, where do you think you're going? You can't expect to proceed with the mission without any weapons or equipment. First, you'll need to recover your backpack. It's caught on a tree to the south. Press the action button to climb the tree and retrieve... Yeah, 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 okay. I see the backpack, my guy. I was just trying to explore. So what's the action button? Is it square? Circle. Triangle. Triangle's action button. Okay. Can we fall off of this? Doesn't seem like it, thankfully. Can we do a bunch of pull-ups here in the beginning? <laughs> Make ourselves buff as fuck before we even start snake. the game. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. 
Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this, anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and US government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over That'll never stop. save frequency. 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh. Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. Don't try to switch boss to is. Movies for this. She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS. Okay. <laughs> I, did, Jack, I know you? nothing about movies from the 60s. It <laughs> boss. So. That's right. It's me. <sighs> Talk hmm. to me. Let Mysterious me hear Mysterious lady. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've been counting down the hours, my guy? You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there okay, I've seen Godzilla, but that's about it. <laughs> No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. 
They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Well, welcome right back, my guy. Has no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders. Yeah, that's given. literally it, man. That's we climbed a tree and then have been talking for. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. About 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> that's, a... that's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute I have to look into terms. Sunhaven more, man. The enemies we fight are only enemies from what you've said about it, it does terms, sound really cool. Constantly changing with the times. No, obviously, I love Stardew. So. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary Sounds unit like a bit of a, put together during a World dig War II there, a like... The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Doc Doc Tokolov. Okay. Dr. Sokolov is being held Damn it. in an abandoned <laughs> thought we were done. to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Now we get a start, right? Surely there won't be another cutscene right after this. <laughs> all right. So, oh shit. Okay, so square shoot. I don't want to be using all that up. Circle punch. 
Go to the right in the next zone. Okay. Will do. Is there anything else to see around here? I'm guessing no. Or you don't want to go to class? I feel you there, man. I mean, I enjoyed college, don't get me wrong, but... I'm happy to not have to, uh... Get up early anymore and deal with all that. Oh, cool. Bullets. Well, then, I'm glad I came over here. Oh, there's a snake. We can eat snakes, right? How do we... Oh, there's a couple snakes. How do we fight... Snakes. Do I have to, like... There we go. So that's food, right? Hey, let's go, dude. Hold on, there's another snake over here, I think. Why am I in first person all of a sudden? That was weird. Is it just whenever we're in grass? It just throws us into it? We got sonar, motion detector, AP sensor, the revival pill, the fake death pill, our cigar, scope. Okay, so... It seems battery power well used. So maybe not worth turning on right now. Anytime you're prone in grass or vent, makes sense. Also, there's a toy frog in every zone. Uh-huh. Do you get anything for, like, collecting all the toy frogs? Or is it just, like, a, uh... What? What'd I miss? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> I should have checked what time. Hold ah. <laughs> Just pulling it up so I could see roughly whenever it's done. Uh, okay, now, now thankfully, though, I can still see well enough, like, for shapes and things. So I think I can still get out of here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this toy frog, though. What is that? They're mushrooms. <laughs> Mushroom on the side of the log. That makes sense. Is the toy frog, like, obvious? Because otherwise, I think I'm screwed. That's what you look like without the glasses. Yep. It's not important. It's for goofy camo. Okay. Well, in that case, I won't really worry about it then. At least not for now. Uh, There is one more thing I want to do, actually, real quick. I want to go into the backpack. Wrong button. Okay, doesn't seem like we have anything in our backpack that we don't have equipped. I would actually like to unequip the fake death pill, though. Because I don't want to accidentally end up taking those, and I don't fully understand it anyway. So, like, we'll just take that off, man. That's fine. When we get into next zone, go to the right. Trying to keep my eyes out for, like, if there's any more snakes or anything around here that we could collect food-wise. Oh, there's... I think those are mushrooms. Can we collect the mushrooms? Hey, we can. Let's go, dude. Wait, what are you? Do the snakes bite? <laughs> Because if they bite, man, I think that's... Yeah, oh, God, okay. <laughs> Gonna have to be careful of that then, I guess. Dramuchage? Dramuchi. Dramuchage Swampland. I have no idea what that word is. 
Okay, go to the right. Follow the right wall. Are there people here? I feel like we need to be sneaky. There's nothing over here. Nothing over here. I feel like when we played this for the PS2 gauntlet, I feel like there was people around here. Somewhere. Maybe this clearing up in here? Okay, there's... Was that an alligator? Oh, there's... There's a couple of them. I'm assuming they're not very nice. Tranquilizer dart? I feel like a trank's probably the right way to go about it. Then we should be able to aim with this, right? And then... Oh, it might be in the third zone? Okay. Okay. One trank enough, it is. Can I kill? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Get up. Run, run away. Oh, bug juice. What the hell is bug juice? Oh, Jesus. There's another one there. I couldn't see him in the grass. That gave me a little bit of a jump scare. Not going to lie. I think he's coming for me. I see the mouth of that one, so we're just going to steer clear of him. There's something in there, though. Can I get it without getting bit? More bullets. Very cool. Yeah. Wait, what's in the tree? I don't know if that's some sort of fruit. If that's a beehive, but there's something hanging in that tree. So this mud is very deep, my guy. Can we, like, drown in the mud? Look, when I said that, I didn't think we actually could. <laughs> I was like, surely it'll just stop us before we get too deep, right? No. No, it won't. Okay, well, we know now there's nothing here we need to worry about. Although, there is that bug juice stuff. Doesn't seem like I can kill the bugs. How did we get bug juice? Checkpoints are forgiving? Yeah, it does seem like it. Oh, it's just sitting there, ain't it? Now, there was bullets over here. What? How did... I'm confused. How did we get to that island last time? <laughs> okay. I wasn't even really paying that much attention to how deep we were, because I was like... Obviously, we're fine. You sink with each step. Oh... So it's kind of like quicksand-esque. Okay. I gotcha. So if we just right here went around in circles for a long time. I see. Yeah, we're getting deeper each time. I gotcha. That makes sense. Can I like run over you? I can. Ow, son of a bitch. Oh, shit, my bullets are full. That was pointless. Okay, hold on. Uh, Please don't come this way. All right, so there's a right path and a left path. I guess we'll follow this right path. Is 
it been five minutes yet? <laughs> I want to see. Oh, it has. It's been like eight minutes. Glasses going on. Maybe. Take the headphones off. Boo, this was funny. <laughs> funny for you, man. I couldn't see shit. <laughs> Everything's already like camouflaged together as it is. <laughs> That's why it's funny. <laughs> My pain brings you pleasure. Yeah, I don't know if we're going the right way, but I'm determined to just follow the right path now. Is this new zone? Is that what this means? Okay. That makes sense. I just saw the, the black border popping up, so I knew something had to be going on. Hmm, this seems like the right way to go now. I wonder what was in the left path back there. Just a crocodile. Fair. Soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. Now, if I knock them out with trank darts and then try to knife them to death, do they hey, wake up on the first knife Soviet attack? Or is it like a time a thing? Of international law. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got so right now, neither. <laughs> Just right. don't do it, the okay. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. I vaguely the remember this. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. This all the makes sense, the yep. The value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? Okay. Close quarters combat is broken once you get good at it. You normally just break necks. I don't even remember how to break next. <laughs> I think it has something to do with sneaking up behind them, right? All right, what camouflage do we have available? Is there... Damn it. Is there any better than what we have equipped right now for this area? Woodland plus five, yes. Oh, we can put the mask on, huh? So, woodland and uniform. Leaf looks like the best one. Yeah, everything else is much lower. Where are these guys at? Something moving over there, but I'm assuming it's some sort of woodland creature. Maybe a snake. Okay, so the, the baddies must be in the next area. Here we go. Are there people up here, though? I move the camera? Only kind of. Hey! Sniper rifle! You scope with the L1 button, press square to hold, release to fire. Okay. Just scope with triangle. Very cool. 
yeah, that should definitely come in handy. <laughs> Although, like I said, as of right now, I don't think we're actually allowed to kill anyone, right? Seems like right now the we have to be complete stealth. Tranking, I'm assuming, would be okay. But outside of that, I assume we're just not allowed to engage with the enemies at the moment. Or maybe we can, but we just can't set off any alarms. Like, have them call in. Can't leave a trace that you killed someone. Okay. So, like, breaking necks and things would be fine, basically. But shooting people, not so much. Also, this is apparently really bad camouflage for where we're at. God damn it, circle, not... It's almost at square. X. <laughs> Face. Uh, splitter. Uniform. I say we just go naked. Sure, that'll be fine, right? Okay, 60% visibility. Doesn't seem too bad. Oh, it's a bird. That was... That's what was moving all the grass around earlier. Are we losing stamina by crawling? There's a dude there. This direction seems more or less empty, though. And I see that tree that we can crawl along. Or at least climb up. Can we see the map from here? Oh, just for living in general. I mean, that makes sense, I suppose, right? It's kind of like, you know, we're getting hungrier, thirstier, etc. Sort of deal. I guess I might as well climb the tree. I, I wanted to, like, go farther and see what's up, but... How do I... I see the fruit. How do I collect the fruit? Oh, we can. We can totally do pull-ups. <laughs> is there is there a benefit to doing pull-ups in this game like there is in, uh, in Metal Gear Solid 2? I have no idea how many you have to do to get your first, like, level up. I'm assuming it probably just, like, lengthens our, our stamina for hanging. Not necessarily, like, our overall stamina, but, yeah. Seems like our stamina is going down faster doing this, too, which makes sense. We jumped. Kind of want some of that fruit, but I don't know if it's worth using bullets for. Oh, you don't think it levels in this one? Okay. Hey, Noodle. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to climb. Get down. Get down. Down. I just, ah. There's no enemy here. Nobody's home. Damn it. God, there's so many people. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I might be screwed. You see things are going well? Oh yes, exceedingly so. I'm in a tree. You can't see me in the tree. Wait. What's the countdown timer for? Oh, okay. They legit can't see me in the tree. That's what the countdown timer's for. 
I'm gonna die. I could probably use the whole pill thing, but honestly, I'm willing to just die here. And restart at the checkpoint. Unless I can just escape gracefully. Holy shit, wait, is this actually gonna work? Just running away? Are they gonna chase me down? Oh shit, there are people here. Are you dead? You're dead. Lay down. Our camouflage is actually pretty good. I don't know if it's as good as it can get, but... Shit. <laughs> they see me! Yeah, no, this ain't... Not here. I need to get farther away, I think. Uh, that's not enough grass to lay in. Right around here. Damn it, dude. There's so many of them. Oh, well, we're dead end now. You just gotta do what John Cena does. Wave your hand in front of your face so you can't see me. <laughs> totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's the first of what is sure to be many deaths, man. <laughs> uh, Do we have the SVD? Did it save us there? No, okay. So it saves every time we switch zones, it seems like, which is fine. All right, so we need to be a little more careful in that next area, that's all. I'm still tempted to collect some fruit. I don't know if the fruit actually does anything for us, but I uh, will also... Oh, we don't have the knife equipped. <laughs> Didn't get to talk to you before you left. Did you see what I sent you on Messenger? Uh, nudes? No, I'm joking. I <laughs> No, I'm sure I saw it, but I don't remember. I can pull it up real quick, though, for you. Do, 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 do. Where is Messenger? Wait, which which thing? The Melanie Martinez thing? She released another song. Oh, I'm so excited for you, love. Okay, so this area was safe. This area up here also... I lied. Not safe. What? When did somebody get here? The hmm. What happens if we load into the next zone? Do they follow us? I'm assuming they will. That's the way it works in two. No. They don't. Ah. Interesting. Now, if we come back, are they still on alert in this zone, though? Free ride? <laughs> right? Hey, okay. Okay, very cool. That makes things a little bit easier. But people are definitely on, like, some sort of patrol or something, though. So I probably need to... Just be more careful. Like, even the areas I think are safe, I guess probably aren't safe. Also, god damn it, it's circle, not X. Uh, woodland, I guess. And... Tiger Stripe. This camouflage thing is a bit much, man. Do you have any friends around, or can I take you out? Now, 
Now, is there a way to, like, insta-kill while they're on the ground like that? Like, can I break his neck while he's laying on the ground? Doesn't seem like it unless you... Okay, sadly, no. Damn it. He's gonna wake up. Why is he moving closer each time I stab him? That's some good trank, right? <laughs> Seriously, though. All right. Is there anyone else around, or were you alone over here? I think you were alone, which means, in theory, I should be able to pick you up now, right? Oh. Didn't mean to sit him down instantly. Uh, Maybe drag him into the tall grass. There we go. Okay. I don't know which way is the best way to actually get through this, but I'm going to try the way we were going before over here. I'm not... Oh, can we not crouch walk? No, we can only, like, crawl or... Okay. My god, would first person be so helpful, man. <laughs> That's an option in the, the remake, right? Resident Evil 3 subsistence. Resident Evil 3? Holy fuck, man. Metal Gear Solid 3 subsistence or whatever it's called. Oh, wait. We're here. We're not even where... Okay. We're not as far as I thought we were yet. Assuming there's just that one guy patrolling this area. Oh, just a wider pivot. Hmm. Anything in the trunk? Bug juice? What the hell is the bug juice? <laughs> is it like a drink? Do we drink it? Do we apply it to something? It looks almost like a food or a ration box. Okay, I... Our camo sucks where we're at now. Will it work better once we get in the grass? Yes, a lot better once we get in the grass. How many people are in this area right before us here? Is it just the one, or is there a couple? I only see one. I think we go for it. Get up. Really hope there's only the one. Down and murder. Stab him in the dick repeatedly. That's how you <laughs> That's how you deal with them, man. <laughs> It'll work. The palm of your hand is itching. You feel like you need to bite it and you hate this feeling? <laughs> what the hell? Now I've had I've had a similar feeling before. I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, pick them up, dude. Oh, it's because I have the knife equipped. There we go. No, wait. Hold, hold square. There we go. Can we put you in this tree trunk? Ooh, grenades. Uh, I mean, you're kind of in there. Can I, like, push you in a little bit farther, maybe? Nope. <laughs> there is no pushing of bodies. Only dragging of bodies. 
Well, I guess that's as hidden as he's getting. <laughs> Surely nobody will be able to see you there. Can we climb up on that maybe for like a higher vantage point? There's another dude over there. Are you the only dude over there, though? Okay, get up. I want to, like, get over to him real quick before he wakes up so I can take care of him. But I'm also worried that there's going to be, like, another person over here somewhere. Hopefully they won't see me stabbing their friend repeatedly because we're in the grass, if there is another person here. <laughs> Come on, how many how many dick stabbings does it take to kill a man? I think we're alone. And where you're at's actually a pretty decent spot to just sit you back down. Smoke grenade, very cool. Wait, go inside the trunk and spin? People aren't going to, like, respawn or something, right? Oh, while holding the body. Oh. I see what you're saying. So, like... Kind of like that. Could probably get it better if we continued to try, but... It's better than it was, nonetheless. Ooh, more mushrooms. How much food should we actually keep on our person at any given time? Also, are there, like, poisonous mushrooms and things we need to worry about? Or, <laughs> and can we eat food raw? I have so many questions. Reticulated python, not eaten yet. Taste unknown. Siberian ink cap. Giant anaconda. Are Siberian ink caps safe to eat? Or is this going to kill me? Disgusting. Okay. So it wasn't like, it didn't hurt us, but it hardly did anything for us either. Maybe, maybe cooking is the answer. And it doesn't seem like we can climb this. Put away the knife. Oh, fuck, right there. There is no cooking, okay. Good to know. Anybody coming running to save you? Doesn't look like it. So it shows that we have a knife equipped with our gun. How do we use the knife part of it, or do we have to switch to the knife? Just keep stabbing, just keep stabbing. Just gonna cut his leg off. Damn you. Going for the head. Oh, perfect. Is there anyone around? I think we're in the clear. It seems much more reliable that people will actually drop stuff now. In this version, or like in Metal Gear Solid 3. I'm just thinking of like Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, man. Where you would have to pick someone up and drop them like 20 times. To actually get anything. Thermal goggles. Visualizes heat source distribution. Allows one to see in the dark. Consumes battery power while used. So do we have like limited batteries or something? 
Is that something we need to collect? Because that's not the first battery-powered thing we've picked up. Uh, backpack, maybe? Thermal goggles. Oh, bug juice is equipment. What's it do? And I guess we can just equip it and see. Oh, this few grenades, smoke grenades. All kinds of stuff, huh? Oh, you have a solar charger not listed. Possibly. So you just can't use it, like, constantly, but it'll slowly refill. Does this work in first person? It does. Thank Jesus. Hey! <laughs> There's our frog friend. Hello, little guy. Uh, I mean, I've already missed some, so I don't think there's any point in killing that one, but. Okay, so we've made almost a full... Wait, shoot him? Okay. If it's worth it, I'll shoot him anyways. I figured you had to, like, shoot them all for it to do anything. How long does he make the sound for? Is it just forever? Like, as long as you're in the area? Okay, now it stops. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> so fucking dumb. I have such a love-hate relationship with this series, man. It confuses the shit out of me. I never know what the hell is going on. It's more movie than game half the time. But then there's just stupid shit like that that, like, you can't help but love. Okay. I'm working under the assumption that this area is safe. Seems like it is. Alright, uh, I know there's fruit in this tree up here. Now, if you eat fruit that a uh, tranquilizer dart hasn't been embedded in, <laughs> will you get tranquilized from it? I'm assuming not in the game, but <laughs> it would be funny if it did. Galova. Eat. I want some more. Nice. Okay. So that's that's totally worth a couple bullets then. I'm going to I know there's at least one more up there. Oh, there's a couple more, yeah. I wouldn't mind collecting a couple of these while we're here. I don't know how common food is throughout the game. We'll just collect 3 and then call that good enough. I mean, we have like the snakes and stuff too, but I don't know if the snakes are any good for stamina recovery yet. Yeah, people don't respawn, right? Shouldn't. Until you leave and come back, at least. What are you? Another kind of fruit. Now, yeah, whatever. We'll worry about that later. Where, oh, where is the exit at here? Uh... Oh, I didn't even think about spoilage. Hmm, okay. So probably not, at least with animals, not worth collecting too much when you don't need it. Fruit, maybe, maybe not. To be determined. Good to know. Wait, cages? We have cages? You gotta go? Damn, dude. Alright, well, have a good time at class. I assume that's where you're going. Oh, 
I see the other frog toy already. It's two and a half hours. Damn, dude. <sighs> well, regardless, I hope it goes as well as it can go. So I see... one person from memory though wasn't there another person around here somewhere or is it just the one so if it's just the one i could probably just trank him and take care of him that way Okay, I don't see any other people. I think I'm going to try to take him out with just a, a single trank. We could do the bees. I remember that's we tried the bee thing whenever we were uh, just trying the game out before. But it didn't go so well for us. Okay, so there is definitely someone else here. Hello! Hey, how are you, man? Welcome to watching me try to make it through Metal Gear Solid. There's no enemies here. Slowly back away. You see nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. First time playing. I've I've played a tiny bit before. Um, but essentially yes. I've only played a couple hours of the game before. Okay, let's reload the area. So tranking the guy, not a good idea. Sadly, though, I didn't see where... Oh, shit. That didn't give us a free pass. Maybe because there's enemies in this area, too. Already? Whereas when we reloaded an area before, the area we went into had no enemies. Maybe that's why we got a free pass then and not this time. Either way, I mean, we're pretty well hidden here. So I'm thinking we're probably safe to just wait out the timer here. As with Metal Gear Solid 2, though, I still wish there was like a fast forward time button. <laughs> so that whenever you're hidden, you can just make the countdown timer go quicker. No such luck, though. Alright, so if tranking the guy in front of the bridge is a no-go, maybe there is still the beehive option. I remember that going poorly for some reason last time, but I don't remember why. But we'll give it a shot again once the, the caution timer runs down here. It doesn't even seem like anyone's really searching for us. Not that I can, like, see the area around us all that well. I'm too scared to move to, <laughs> to really look. So we're just, we're just kind of stuck chilling here where we are. It's fine. Honestly, good time to take a nap, you know? Recover some stamina that way, Snake. No? Mm. Sadly, doesn't seem like an option. Almost there, though. We can probably start crawling up, right? There's nobody here to see me. As long as we crawl slow, we're still super hidden. Oh, I didn't think we were going to hit the trigger for the next area so quickly. Okay, just lay down. Okay. <laughs> this is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. They sound closer to normal, which worried me, but I think 
think we're okay. But yeah, you're you're no no no, stay down. Okay, so we probably need Oh damn, there's definitely two of them. How did I not see one of them last time? So if we send down the beehive, do you like move that way or do you just move back and forth? I think you might just move back and forth. Okay, does he come back? No. Oh, maybe. Regardless, though, we need to get down there and take care of this guy before he comes back up. No, don't dodge roll. Switch to knife. Keep an eye on the bridge. Damn you. Why do you gotta move while I knife you? You're done. Better look at the bridge. Best method? <laughs> All right. I think we're in the clear. Can I get you in the grass without being seen? I mean, I don't see anybody at least. I may be more blind than they are though. Can we drop you off the edge? Stun grenade, very cool. Okay, I thought for sure they were going to, like, come back for us or something, but no, they seem to be gone, dude. Ointment and our nest. I'm assuming that means, like, hornet nest. Uh, no, they're definitely coming back now. Um... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, da 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 da. I should have crossed the bridge when I had a chance. Um, okay, it's fine. Wait, are they both coming over here, or is one of them one of them's gonna like stop on the bridge or something, right? Yeah. So maybe. Oh shit, there's one on the other side of the bridge too. Your back is turned. Oh god, I am in a bad spot. I don't suppose you'll just like fall off the bridge if I shoot you, will ya? Gotta go, Noodle. Have a good night, love. Or good rest of your shift. I wonder... Hmm. We have that sniper rifle, but I don't know... I'm assuming it's not silenced, and I don't know if we'd fail the mission using that here. Love you, too. You're so far away, dude. That actually worked. Okay, where's the other guy? Send me a text, read it when I can, okay. Uh, 
you know what? Knife this guy to death before he comes back. No, down. No, down, please. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Late. Don't roll. Oh my god. He's gonna come back. He's gonna wake up. I'm gonna die. There we go. There we go. Just, just chop his leg into bits. Nothing's wrong. You're waking up that guy, but that's that's fine. I don't think you're in high alert or anything, though. Are you going to spot me if I try to move this body? I really want to move this body, but I have to stand up to do that. I don't think he's looking. Honestly, with the body, like, laying down like that, it might just be fine in general. Just leaving it there. Go to sleep. Damn it. Okay. Get up. Get rid of the weapon. All the way up. Body in the grass. God damn it. That dude on the other side is really annoying. Please lay back down. Thank you. Alright, dude on the bridge, I need you to come back this way, I guess. Because otherwise you're going to get spotted by that other dude too easily. Will you move back over here, or are you just going to stay over there forever? I think he's coming back this way. I'm pretty well camouflaged here. Can I get... Is my camouflage still good if I'm, like, here? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm gonna wait for him to get on the bridge. And for that other guy to walk back the way he came. So you can kind of see him right now. He's, like, right there. So I want to wait for him to go back. Okay. Yeah, where he's at, I think, is good. Now, quickly. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Uh, triangle to get back up. Holy shit. Uh, you know what? It might be better just to leave him and just quickly go over to where we can trank the other guy. Damn it. Back up. No. no. Up, please. Please get up. Oh, wait. We sent the body off the edge like that. I also saw there was something else over there, but that was cool. I had no idea that would happen. Perfect, though. That's a good way to get rid of a body, man. <laughs> okay, now are you the only other one? Or is there more people over here I need to worry about? Okay, I think that's it. Knife ya. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what? There we go. <laughs> like, that knife is clearly going in his dick, dude. Why is he not taking damage? There we go. He's dead. You can stop now, Snake. He's gone. We got three more bullets? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
trying to remember from when we played before. I think the rest of this area might be safe. For us to just run through. Yeah, okay. Oh boy. Making progress. That went a lot better than I expected. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Definitely went better than the first time we played as well. You've become far too casual with dick stabbing. <laughs> Look, you got to get rid of these guys one way or another. And that's the easiest way to do it. All right. Major. If it wasn't so damn effective, we wouldn't do it so much. See Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. This is the last part be we did careful. when I played before. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Okay. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Time is it? 7.12. Might have to take a break here in a minute. The boy kind of needs to use the bathroom. Plus I had a 3D print growing, going. I need to make sure it's not uh, fucking up. And fill up my water. My water's almost empty. But... Can we get into the building before we go for a break? Uh, okay, I remember there's like vents under the building. I remember that part. Um, and those vents were a huge help to us before. Is that a hole in the wall? It looks like a hole in the wall. Yes, it is. The more we can stay in the grass, the better. Is there a hole in this fence? Doesn't appear to be. You're there. Is there anyone else around here? Well, if we give you a moment, I'm assuming you'll go back the way you just came from. And then maybe we can just make a dash for the for the building over there. And then find a vent to hide in. Now, when we did the, the gauntlet thing, I remember we basically just ran, got caught on our way over, and then just hid in the vents until we were safe. Which is still an option, to be fair. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do it a little bit better. Don't forget about your items. Wait, what items? What, item, what items am I forgetting about? <laughs> Bug juice, revival pill, anti-personnel sensor. Oh, you mean like the smoke grenades and stuff, I'm assuming you mean. And the stun grenade. Hmm. <laughs> the cigar, of course, yes. That <laughs> Motion detector and active sonar. Hold on. How do those work exactly in this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Text animals with sound. It's not detect stationary. There we go. I'm tempted to crawl now while he's behind me. Oh, shit. What's it picking up? Oh, maybe that guy right in front of me? Holy shit, dude. You can't see me. It's 
so scared. He's just like, he's walking straight for me, basically, dude, and looking straight at me. <laughs> it's just like... Okay, how far... Can I get over to that grass? Before he turns around. There's no one here. We are surprisingly... Uh, Hold on. Do I have better camo for where I'm at? I was just going to say, we are surprisingly invisible while crawling. And then I looked up and suddenly our stuff changed to, <laughs> to 45. Um, maybe tree bark, I guess. Yeah, I'll take 55. Get back down, Snake! Who's that? What are you, you son of a bitch, Snake? <laughs> Nobody here! <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why? I hate how you just randomly stand. Okay, it's not random, it's whenever you like run up against an object or whatever but like gross it for real oh my god well this is a familiar sight for me from what i remember though we are literally invisible here like there's no way for them to find us okay well they can use grenades apparently but i don't think they can throw them to where we're at it was going so i was going too well um that's fine. Keep throwing grenades in there. I'm too far away for them to have any effect. So yeah, uh, <laughs> while we're waiting for the evasion counter to pop, to, to count down, I think it's an excellent... How's that snake tanking all of this? Honestly, though. Uh, but no, I think it's an excellent time to take the break, is what I was going to say. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to stretch my legs for a minute, fill up my water, use the bathroom real quick, and then uh, we'll be back. Is it just me or is the evasion counter counting down a lot faster than it was before? Feels like it's going really quick. Yeah, it's already almost done. Whatever. Point is, I'm going to take a quick break. We won't be gone for long, though. And then we'll uh, try and find... Oh, it's the caution timer that takes forever. That's the one. Whatever. I'll be back. Ow. Uh, map. Nothing here, okay. Activating combat mode. There we go, dude. Yeah. You can't, like, go through the fence here right now, okay. Oh shit, he sees us already. <laughs> uh shit, dude. Doesn't seem like the most accurate of sniper rifles. Okay, I think they're all dead. Don't see any more. I'm torn between equipping another smart bomb and then, or just doing like attack power. So I could definitely see a situation where the smart bomb comes in handy again. But also like we were shooting a bunch of those dudes in the face and <laughs> they were not dying in one hit. Okay, so it's just the three. Dead. 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 
Well, we can enhance once and still have enough to re-equip the smart bomb, so. I'm gonna steady ourselves a little bit more. There we go. Back just as the caution timer is counting down. Perfect timing. Oh, boy. And yep, somehow that snake and this snake lived through all that. No, the 3D print went pretty well, though. I'm happy with that. I was uh, switching filament. That's why it's, like, black on the bottom. And then the... I don't know what you would call that color exactly, but <laughs> the other color on top, the, the shiny metallic-like color... But it's a different type of filament. It's a uh, silk. So I wanted to make sure that like it was working well and whatnot. Hence why I printed a Benchy with it. I've printed a few Benchies, and honestly, I think that this is probably the best one so far, which is kind of surprising because I've heard that silk filament's a little harder to work with, but I don't know. It looks pretty nice. It's got a little more stringing than the regular PLA that I've used before, but still came out really well. It's awesome. I have no idea what I'm going to be printing next on it. Noodle has a couple things that she wants me to print for her. So maybe I'll look into, like, doing one of those or something. But, yeah. Alright. I'm trying to remember where we are going exactly. I know it's the back right corner. I think the way we did it before was we got up, like, on top of the building, right? And then from there, we jumped down whenever the guards weren't around and then just hopped in the door? So I think... Oh, a mousetrap. What do we use the mousetraps for? Do the mice, like, mess with us or something? Yummy. <laughs> we can eat the rats. Can I look up? I can. Can I go through this trap door? Unequip the knife. Can I, like, knock? No. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with it. And if we use the thermal goggles, though, can we see where people are? I have to, okay, I need to hold R1. Not really. Okay. Well. Let's see. Okay, so there's a dude over there. We need to watch for him. But I think if we just go out the back right here, we should be able to just trank him, stab him in the dick, and be mostly safe. There's probably some stuff around here that I'm missing, but... Okay, before we get too far, change, change the camo again. Probably to Woodland. And Tiger Stripe. That one seems to do pretty well, just generally speaking. And then... Not the thermal goggles, the motion detector. Just want to know, is there, like, another dude over here, or is it just the one dude? As much as the camo system kind of annoys me having to constantly switch our camo, that's honestly really cool at the same time. Like, that that's even a thing, you know? That the game can tell what kind of surfaces you're on, and then... Adjust as needed. 
Okay, can anyone else see you, or are you alone? You're alone enough. Okay, I could take you down, but let's just get up this ladder. And then lay down. Okay. Napping time, exactly, dude. Look, you wander around the forest for long enough, you gotta take a nap sooner or later, right? So there's that dude there, but once he leaves, I should be able to just quietly hop down and then quickly jump in the door, I think. I mean, I could maybe trank him, but I can't tell if there's anyone else close enough that could see him. In before we need a key. I don't remember needing one, <laughs> but I feel like that might end up being a thing. Come on, dude, move. That's a doorway right there, right? Yeah. So if I jump down now, he's just going to come running over. I can probably unequip that. Let it recharge a little bit. It, I keep, like, tilting my head like that's going to do anything, dude. I'm not playing in VR right now. <laughs> like, come on, dude. I didn't mean to jump down, jump down, but whatever. It seems seems fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> triggered a cutscene. That's good enough. We good. Can you burn it? You must be so glad. <gasps> Are you? One of Vulcan's men. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you, sorry for being so late. Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Very intimidating. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power. Assuming by that's rallying group? the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Makes sense. 
<laughs> I struggle so much to follow the story of these games, man. That they are going to make their move during the test. Then the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgit from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the I don't remember way, how this ends for him, but I feel like it's not going to be good. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Wait, are we speaking Russian right now? <laughs> and like, is that is that what they're trying to allude to? Never knew I could understand Major Russian so well, honestly. Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. If it gives us the chance, I think it's a good time to save <laughs> before things go poorly. The checkpoint system does seem really good in this game, but still. I would feel better having a hard save. I remember what happens as we're like leaving the place, but I don't remember how exactly we get to that point. It may just force us right into it. What is he doing with his hands? Is, he, is Sokolov like getting ready to fight someone or is he trying to pull some Jedi mind tricks, man? <laughs> like... You look different. Freeze! <gasps> so this is the legendary boss. Look who it is. We meet at last. You're looking younger than the last time we saw you. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. <gasps> What's a crew soldier doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> soldier? Uh, oh, Ocelot means cat, yeah. I gotcha. I get the meow now. <laughs> it's very confused. The goat, I understand, but the meow threw me off a little bit. He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Mm -mm -mm. I have played this part. Not only that, but I, I recognized who he was from playing Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. Just, you know, 
lot younger than usual. I want to meet someone that is that good with a gun in real life, man. That's just like... I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that part. <laughs> That's where the meow comment came from. I thought, you were <laughs> I thought you were just talking about, you know, the whole ocelot thing. I didn't remember him meowing. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> If you're not the boss, then die. Ah, uh, I hate to see it, dude. Major, leave it. Shoot the other one. Whoa. Careful now, you don't want him to get back to his gun, dude. <laughs> to think how much trouble we could have saved ourselves later if we had just killed him properly now. Unless he's also a clone in the future games, which, I mean, in this world, who knows, man, I guess it's possible. He's aged up more, though, so I'm thinking it's the same Ocelot. Crank dart. Did, wait, did we shoot that? first place you tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil that's more oh, of a revolver technique. that's why he switches to a revolver you later the american dog so not only could we have saved ourselves some trouble by you know just killing him here properly we could have not given him tips on how to be a better murder machine <laughs> but that was some fancy shooting you're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Wouldn't ending the franchise include, like, offing ourselves, though, <laughs> more than Ocelot? Or does he play a larger role than I can remember? Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. 
Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. I think, if memory serves at least, that's all the farther we made it. Once we once we offed all those guys, I don't think we went any farther. I meant to press X to go back, not circle to select. That's going to take a little while to get used to. What I want to do is save real quick. Let's get some of those uh wonderful... Nineteen sixty movie facts that I was promised. Saving the game, Snake. Hey, thank you for stopping out while you could, man. I appreciate it. Uh, slot one, please. New file, yes. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Eventually, maybe. Wait, did it just start over? <laughs> there it goes. Okay, we're good. Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? Yes, I have. No. What is it? It's a movie. You haven't seen it? Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, <laughs> it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is <laughs> That's why my pants have been so tight lately. No really, Snake? Monster. Really? <laughs> Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. I recommend seeing the original Japanese one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti nuke message as well. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies, then? Of course. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. It's almost like the creator of this game is obsessed with movies. No, I don't want to save. I want to go back. I hit the wrong damn button. There we go. All right, so can we get anything from all these guys on the ground? We can, although we don't really have much that we can pick up right now, right? Because, like, rations are different in this game. Why is he carrying a mousetrap? That's weird. Kill him? Dude, let's do it. <laughs> oh, shit, that's not... <laughs> that's a trank gun. <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna is this gonna end poorly for me somehow? <laughs> I don't know if I like that the little double smile there. Ocelot is dead. It does. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> oh my god, that's great, man. Even had the colonel from like the uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 do the voice line for it. That's good, man. Oh. It's still a mousetrap. Is it, is it because he's a cat? 
Is that why he carries mouse traps? I don't I don't quite understand. Okay, no one else seems to have anything of importance. Is there anything here just in general that we should collect though before we go? Oh, you're just asleep. You're not knocked out. Does that mean you're going to come back? Uh, I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. I wonder if we could actually like read that stuff on there. Or push that barrel. Looks like no. SP MK22. What is that? M37 12 gauge shotgun can blow away an enemy. I'm glad we did a little bit of searching before we left. Wasn't there? I think there was something else like back here too though, right? Might have just been ammo or something though, but I seem to recall Wasn't there something over here? Oh, it's in there. Can I climb up? Yeah, there we go. LF Med. I'm assuming that's some kind of medicine. Now, where, oh, where is Sokolov at? There's only one way we can go, right? Back the way we came? I guess that's what we have the map for. Yeah, besides that very back corner, we've uncovered everything. I don't think there was anything in this back corner, right? Just a fence? We just didn't go back far enough to uncover it? I guess there is a door on the fence. Or in the fence, a gate. Can we open it? We cannot open it, okay. Hmm. So yeah, I guess we just gotta go back the way we came. And presumably we'll run into Sokolov somewhere around there. Ooh. Now the real question is, are the enemies gonna start respawning whenever we go over here? Or can we just run on through? You have your adopted children in the room with you watching the stream. Can you watch your language, please, okay. and thank you? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Think you're watching the wrong stream, my guy. Yes. <laughs> the best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. Is that, is that a Metal Gear? That's what they were making you build. Yes, the Shagahod, the treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear ions. Essentially, yeah, okay. Launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain. Oh yes, and without support from friendly units, a nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating. I, I can do so, Tokubo. I can't make any promises about the game. <laughs> Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete phase two. Phase two? The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. World War. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. 
Please, take me to America. Quickly! They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Try not to fall off the bridge, my guy. This bridge is precarious, as I've come to realize. I almost fell off it myself a couple times. Had a dude fall off it, too. I wouldn't get so close to the edge if I were you. Yeah, that's not a drop you want to experience. Is that the boss? It is. Hello there. Boss? No. <gasps> really now? <laughs> what do you gotta do that for, my guy? <laughs> Good work. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Uh. <laughs> She's not on our side, is she? <laughs> this seems creepy. <laughs> Who are you? So you have a vampire? Again. <laughs> or maybe the same one. I'm not sure. And a dude that can control bugs. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Now that all <laughs> five of us are together, it's time that we go weird. to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? <laughs> the anime floodgates have opened. Honestly, I was thinking with this being a prequel, maybe it would be like less mystical and anime and crap, but it seems like it's just more. <laughs> Suddenly Raiden. Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my mm, country. Look who it is. And to my unit. What is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift from my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. It's a recoilless nuclear warhead. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? 
think you can pull the trigger? Rude. That could not have felt good. You've seen my face. We can't let him live. If Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. Zap, zap. <laughs> Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. We gonna pull her off the bridge. Dude, why would you even? Uh... Okay. I thought he actually trusted her there for a second. Like, oh well, still trusted her too much, I guess. <laughs> So wait, if the Cobras are all, like, magical and stuff, <laughs> what's boss's power? Are we done here? Now, on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Is there anyone in the series that doesn't just turn evil as time goes on? <laughs> like, <laughs> seems like every mentor in this game goes bad at some point or another, man. Boss there obviously turned bad. Big boss goes bad. Colonel, I mean, I guess it wasn't really the colonel, huh? It was like an imposter or something? I don't know. Metal Gear Solid 2 still confuses the heck out of me. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? Doesn't sound like get it. Those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, what? here we go. Huh? First, what? open the survival viewer with the start. Okay, button. she's telling us how to patch ourselves if up. You select <laughs> cure, like... you start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left analog stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, 
hold the weapon window button and use the left analog stick to select the medical item and then press the enter button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. Oh, God, okay. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages... Is it going to remind me of these things whenever, like, <laughs> we I have to do it? Because, be like... Understood? Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. All right. So, start here. Uh, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> okay. So, for cuts, we. It won't let you do unnecessary procedures. That's good to know. <laughs> Digestive medicine? Hmm. Cold medicine. Antidote for food poisoning. Serum for venom. Okay, so none of that, it seems like. Okay, so disinfectant, right? And then it was cigar, obviously. <laughs> and then suture. And then bandage. I think that was it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the point of the cigar is. Wait, what do we got? Broken bone. Okay, so it was for broken bone. Oh, to stop the bleeding. Of course. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, so it actually goes away when we're done. Okay, and then for broken bone, it was splint, and then bandage? Maybe a snake eater that you couldn't do? I don't know. <laughs> this is snake eater. <laughs> Wait, what do we have? Broken bone. I mean... Yeah, okay, so it lets you use it. It just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Sp okay, splint. And then... Shoot, what was the other thing? Was it bandage? Okay. Disinfect. And then suture, bandage, styptic. Disinfect, suture, then bandage, then stop the bleeding. And then same thing. I wonder what happens if you just run out of, like, stuff. Disinfect, bandage, suture. I did that out of order. I don't think it matters. Disinfect. Okay. Oh, wait, is there Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, and Metal Gear Solid 3, whatever the one was? It's not Snake Eater, the other one. It's, uh, like, can't remember the name of it now, though. Hold on. Metal Gear... Subsidence. That's what it's called. No, the regular is Snake Eater. Subsidence, or whatever. Is the the other one? Sub subsistence. Subsistence. It looks like. Is the remake one? Now Metal Gear Solid Three has subsistence as well. I can uh, post a link. Yeah, Snake Eater. As far as I'm aware. Snake Eater is the original. Metal Gear Solid 3. As far as I'm aware, I could have it mixed up. Maybe there is a regular Metal Gear Solid 3, a Snake Eater, and the other one. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up?
Yeah, I wish this was the remake one, because from what I've read, it is just the better option to play, but no, it's it's Snake Eater. Uh, Maybe? That I don't remember. I want to say they're separate. Does it say on that link? Yeah, no, it looks like they, uh, it looks like they made Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 and just called them both subsistence. Oh, Metal Gear Solid 2 is called substance, not subsistence. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So you have Metal Gear Solid, then Metal Gear Solid 2 substance. And then Metal Gear, blah, 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 blah. Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence are your three different versions or whatever. There was a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1 at some point too, wasn't there? But besides the point. This dude's a little crazy, ain't he? To the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is the girl? Who is she? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Apparently, she's Sokolov's woman. Wait, what? How did we get a hold of? Sokolov's wife. I thought she was in America. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. KGB. We may be able to use her. She is bunk. Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. <laughs> She's gonna Colonel, blow it up. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> yeah, dude's a little crazy. <laughs> Colonel! My... Okay. <laughs> Controller almost vibrated off the <laughs> desk there. Did we get to see the boom? It's a very bright boom. <laughs> Pretty good hit fire, right? Dude didn't even have to aim, man. Almost as good as Ocelot himself. I'm sorry, if you're that close to a nuclear blast, you're donezo, man. <laughs> like, the amount of radiation coming off that thing. The general rule of thumb is what? If you stick your arm straight out and uh, the mushroom cloud is larger than your thumb, then you're guaranteed dead. I think is the general rule of thumb. Like, <laughs> and Snake's like right there. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't think he's surviving that one, dude.
Hell, I'm not sure if uh, the Cobras or whatever they're called are surviving that one. Even flying away the way they are. Uh, make a new save, I guess. It's always nice to have a couple saves, you know. Have an extra one, just in case. I love, too, how we saved right before all of that and had that great anti-nuke message story about Godzilla and whatnot, and then just, bam, nukes. <laughs> Let's go. Blow shit up. I love it. I love it. Is this, like, the proper intro to the game now? Yeah. Yeah. Now that Hideo Kojima has spun off from, you know, Konami and is kind of doing his own stuff, I'm honestly surprised the guy didn't just start making movies, man. But that's got to be where his heart lies. The way he does the Metal Gear franchise. I haven't played, uh, what was his newest game called? Can't remember the name of it. The Delivery Man Simulator. I still need to play it. I can't remember. Anyways, but yeah. Seems like he just needs to make some movies, man. I think he would like that more. There are credits at the beginning of every mission of Gear Solid 5. <laughs> oh, Death Stranding, that's the name of it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And I have noticed that, like, every time somebody is an int introduced, a character in the game, it not only puts, like, the character's name, but underneath it, it puts the, the voice actor's name or whatever. It might be the other way around, but point is, like... Which, I mean, is cool. On the one hand, it's nice that the voice actors get proper crediting throughout the game. But also, like, that's not something they do in video games, man. <laughs> like, that's, that's a very non-video game thing. Passion is interactive film. Like you can do that with a Blu-ray though too. You know, like <laughs> you can you can run JavaScript on Blu-ray. Heck, you could do that with uh, DVDs too. There was a couple of uh, movies that were choose your own adventure or that you could change slightly. Uh, one of them was the Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, or it might have been the other one. I forget which one, but one of the Harold and Kumar movies um, had that that option. Like, as the movie's going, you can change different scenes based on uh, your choices. Pretty sure there was a couple other movies like that, too, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. Nope, gotta be games, huh? Fair enough, man, fair enough. I mean, I'm glad he makes games, because that's, you know, I get to play them. But <laughs> it feels like his heart is in movies and film. Arctic Ocean airspace. Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet, approaching Soviet airspace. Oh yeah, one of the drone final destinations. I think it was three. Yep, point. yep, yep. You're right. Drone oil pressure and voltage are nominal. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. Power supply to payload anti-three system shows no problems. No gusts. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't go to the jump this time around. What? Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. James we Bond. Oh. Uh, Bond. So instead, mm -hmm. we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. Are you comparing this to James Bond because of the fancy gadgets and jet plane and stuff like that? <laughs> Or was there a reference there that I didn't catch? 
Could you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you, too? Mm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Uh, the Does Colonel loves Bond. Fox Fair. Going to die? No. This fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? The situation has changed. We've still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. Isn't that illegal, my good sir? Or has that not happened yet? This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKD-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. Hate to see it. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard that. The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean the boss? The mother of your special forces? Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. Are you just repeating I'm everything you so. say, dude? I believe like they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. Serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. They seem pretty accurate, man. He shot it from his hip and hit directly where he wanted. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgan's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as a gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's Bound. correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a U.S. military aircraft doing on our radar screen? It was clearly in a violation of our airspace. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists that this is all a ploy on your part. 
I've said it once and I'll say it again, our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe it. I mean, However, to be I'm fair, my power unless the, the boss is doing like a whole double cross thing, he is telling the truth. I mean, well, we did have an operative on the ground. He didn't cause any of this. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. Then you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably something painful. He brought Prove Sokolov? To me that this is not merely another one of I your mean, tricks. yeah, but should be close to Ocelot Ford. was already there, right? No, so, like, <laughs> they were going to get Sokolov either way. Much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volkin is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week. And if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volkin as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Be unable to restrain the military, I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. Put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You I mean, it went so well the first time. <laughs> Screw this one up, and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. Are the Russians going to be helping us? The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's oh, it. Damn it, Kojima. They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. <laughs> insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. <laughs> Do you remember uh. it? You mean the two NSA code breakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, They've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volkin's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. The fast fucking plane, man. Unidentified aircraft detected, altitude 30,000 feet. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Does this thing even have any landing gear on it? <laughs> like... What is, he, what, what is even going on? <laughs> what, what is this, man? What is this game? <laughs> Are we ejecting at Mach 3? Or no, those are some sort of brakes that were just deployed, huh? I think that answers my question too. No, it does not seem to have any sort of landing gear. <laughs> just dropped out of the bottom of it at like, still had to be going like Mach 1 or something, man. You can't slow down that fast. You destroy yourself
This is Snake. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss? This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss and her Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volker. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. Oh, must have missed that one. We are again with the movies, anyway, man. It's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan, but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yeah, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. <laughs> So what, should what, I call you? what is this, man? <laughs> you know, let's just use zero like we've been doing all along. Oh. <laughs> all right, then. Major zero it yeah, is. Yeah, it's all his fault, we'll man. Start over from square one. He didn't pick a lucky name. He from picked an unlucky square name. Zero. My frequency is 140.85. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. Why? Her frequency is the same as during the Virtuous mission. 145.73. She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. <laughs> that frequency is also the same. That makes no one sense, though. Four zero point nine six. <laughs> and there's one more person on your support team. His name is Mr. Sigint. He's an expert on the latest in weapons and equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you it at the never ends, dude. Up ahead. It never Sigint ends. <laughs> Sokolov was being held in last week. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password is Who are the Patriots and Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. So is it possible to do too good and no one knows the American government is the one that did it? And then just lose the game that way. So wait, we're in the same area as last time, but now with nuclear fallout? Okay, not the same exact area, but in the same, close enough to the same area. And we have... 
All the same stuff from last time? No. It's actually a task force following Snake cleaning his mess up. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, might as well equip that. Uh, equip the survive. Oh wait, no, we're unequipping. Correction, my calorie mate. No, I, I don't mind coming into the menu to eat. Uh, we might end up needing the other stuff. Okay. Oh boy. We got what? About twenty-five, thirty minutes. I'm legitimately concerned we might not have enough time. I mean, as long as I get off in time to load the dishwasher and pick up Noodle, I guess it's okay if we're a little bit late. So they said that nobody is, like, crazy enough to come here because of all the fallout, right? So does that mean... We don't need to be super careful. We probably still have to be super careful. So, I mean, they did also at the same time specifically mention that, you know, it's a stealth mission and all that. <laughs> the camera's freaking out a little bit. I don't think we can go in there. Seems the first zone is empty. We got everything. Moving onward. Dramuchi. Dramuchi. <laughs> Still have thermals? Ooh. Good call. I don't know if we do or not. Backpack. We do not. Sadly. Oh, man, that means... We got that shotgun. <laughs> I guess you could probably pick up the shotgun before the big fight, like, before you find Sokolov. So I guess that's why the shotgun was there. But I was just like, what was the point of even giving us the shotgun if it was just gonna take away all of our stuff anyways? But uh, I guess it makes more sense than I'm giving it credit for. Sucks we never even used the uh, sniper rifle, though. Can we... Kill the birds? Oh, that's not a bird. That's a snake. Doesn't seem to be anything around here that we need to worry about. Onward and upward. There's horses? Can't say I expected that. Also. Okay. Suppressor. There we go. Snake F. Something's happening. Oh, that's our plane. Okay. Okay, if there's a random horse out here, then there's probably an enemy soldier around here somewhere, right? It's like that horse wouldn't have just been chilling here whenever the fucking plane fell. Yeah, saddled horse at that. There we go. Boss. That arm still hurt? What are you 
doing here? Dang it, snake. What's her obsession with dismantling guns? <laughs> Sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss. I'm starting to feel like Snake just likes getting the crap more. kicked out of him. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? If you truly didn't defect, why don't you just tell us what it is you're trying to accomplish and maybe we can either help or like... You don't know the truth yet. <laughs> but sooner or later you'll have to choose I don't expect you to forgive me but you can't defeat me either you know me too well just look at that bandana if you can't put the past behind you you won't survive long Ow, dude. Again, I'll kill you. <laughs> what is your obsession with hurting me? So <laughs> now, go home. This is Snake. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgan, isn't exactly- And hand, and terms. probably another rib. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians, to achieve double crosses like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. We don't even have our trank anymore, man. So how many steps can we make it before the next cutscene? 
Okay, it doesn't look like we have any actual injuries, even though it seems like we should. Ooh. We like rotate them too. Oh yeah, this is like a whole three D model viewer here, huh? How do I? How did I zoom out? Oh, square. There we go. Fancy. Oh. Weird. Oh, yeah. Didn't it, like, uh, make him sick or something? And then I think we had to exit the menu afterwards. <laughs> oh, does it just repeat? Oh, shit. Hold on. How do we X? That's how you exit. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> You close next Monday, so you'll say it now. Shit, they're already here. Uh, da 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 da. Non lethal boss fights for camos. Okay. Good to know, my guy. Because, yeah, as soon as, I guess, as soon as we're out of caution, I didn't expect to. <laughs> I mean, I, we knew people were coming. I should have thought it, but okay. Cool. We actually, I guess, we're back in a safe zone or whatever. Point is, what I was trying to say is, yeah, we are going to have to call it there because I never know in this game when we're going to run into another cutscene that's 45 minutes long. And it's uh, <laughs> it's basically time for us to hop off anyways. But I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I most certainly did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and listen to this uh, save story before we call it. What is today, though? Thursday... No, today's Wednesday, so tomorrow's Thursday. We'll be playing something on the PS2. Yeah, but you were all wrapped up in bandages and tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. But seriously, don't forget that you were like that until just yesterday. In Fair fact, medical really probably. <laughs> Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. If you start to run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get yourself hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten by a venomous animal, go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself using cure. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. You're welcome. I would love and to I see, like, the financial breakdown of what it costs to make this game. Maybe so. Or just the Metal Gear the games way, in general. I, you're going to lose I feel like voice acting is going to be is. one of the top <laughs> yes, um, costs to make the game. Like, Will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. There's just so but many you know voice what? lines, man. I really don't care about my medical license. Didn't they use that to force you to participate in this operation? No, I volunteered. Why? So that I could watch over you. Huh. Snake, you're the best agent I've ever seen. But you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble to make sure you and the boss don't kill each other. So that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. Save. Do we get the name Big Boss because we killed the boss? I have no idea, but it was just like... Would make sense to me. Because what do you become when you kill the boss, right? The bigger boss. Shorten it down, you got big boss. Oh. Now, what movie is it going to be this time? Most likely one I know nothing about. Okay, good luck, Snake. Thanks. Oh, wait, what? That was it? <laughs> no big movie thing? I'm legitimately kind of surprised. I guess because she had to talk about the 
the other thing, us being gone and Guardian Angel and her choosing to go on this mission and stuff. I guess that was uh, her voice line for this instead. Sorry, excuse me, man. It's getting late. <laughs> no, uh, as I was saying before we save, though, thank you again, everyone, for coming and hanging out with me. While we got started on Metal Gear Solid 3, we will, of course, be continuing it on uh, next Wednesday until we are done with the game. I'm guessing probably five streams of it, as long as we don't get stuck on any part for too long, maybe six. I'm guessing around there, so we'll be playing it for a little while. Uh, tomorrow night, like I said, we'll be playing something on the PS2 as part of the PS2 Gauntlet. Those are always kind of randomized, so I couldn't tell you exactly which one. But until then, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you one more time, and until next time, bye-bye, y'all. Be kind to each other, however I am these things. Look, I'll figure it out one of these days. <laughs> have a good night, guys.